everybody. Welcome. This is To The Point with Tanya Tyler on Outdoor Trail Magazine. Now, the biggest name in bass fishing today, three-time BASS Angler of the Year, FLW Angler of the Year, two-time Bassmaster Classic Champion, and an Elite Series winner this past weekend at Gunnersville. Kevin Van Dam, KVD, how you doing? Doing great, as you can imagine. Oh, I bet you're on cloud nine. I first want to say congratulations. Well, I, I sure appreciate it. it uh... It's been a long time coming for me to, to win one of those Elite Series events. It was sure special to do it down there in, at Lake Gunnersville. Now, Jed, a producer from ESPN Outdoors, says hi and congratulations. <laughs> and he wants to know, even though this is your 11th win, how much was this really wearing on you not having won an Elite Series tournament since you were such a competitive fisherman? It wasn't that it, that I haven't won that bothers me. What What bothered me the most is that I had the opportunity I was in position to Many times, you know, quite a few times last year and, and even this year, I've had a couple pretty good tournaments and just, you know, just have a bad last day or whatever and it just, you know, things go south. So that's the part that was more frustrating than anything else. So it, it does feel good to, to have everything go as planned for once. Well, it definitely worked out for you in Gunnersville, winning with your spinner baits and crankbaits. Blake from Florida thinks you are the spinner bait guru and he's been trying to figure out which reaction bait to throw and win. Well, probably more than anything, when I'm looking at what lure to choose, I look at the clarity of the water and then the sky conditions, you know, the weather conditions for the day. And, you know, if the if the water's pretty clear and it's it's pretty bright skies, you got to use something real natural and you want it to move real fast so that the fish don't get too good a look at it because they can tell the difference between a spinner bait and a shad under these, those conditions. But if the water's kind of dirty or it's real cloudy or windy, which helps cut down light penetration. The bass can't see your bait quite as well, and, and your choices are a, a lot wider then. You know, then, you can, then you can use just about anything and catch them. you really got to fish the conditions. Talking with Kevin Van Dam. Now, Gary from South Haven, Michigan, loves using spinner baits. What pound line do you use for spinner baits and heavy cover? least amount of line um, that I use is, is 17 pound test uh, and real thick cover and, and real tight quarters especially you know maybe I'm in Texas or California or someplace where I might catch a 10 or 12 pounder <laughs> you know I might go up to 25 pound test. Now fishermen and their superstitions I never go fishing without my lucky green hat. Lucky cookies? Yeah. <laughs> now Jeremy from Alabama heard you mention your wife's lucky cookies. Last tournament your supply ran out and you didn't do so well. You had them at Gunnersville, and you kicked some butt. What's in them? And he wants to know if you can send him some. <laughs> it's a it's a secret family recipe. They're they're pretty they're pretty special. And um, the batch that my wife made last week was like the all time best that I've ever had. And uh, you know, the week before when we were at Clark's Hill, we were staying out kind of at a, a house we had rented on the lake that didn't really have a mailing address to where we could have them shipped in there. And I said, ah, don't worry about it this week. And and yeah, it was a bad week for her, so we, we learned to not make that mistake again. And so she stepped it up a little bit on, on this batch here, and it, they were just, they were really, really good. And so I, I knew it had to be a good week. Get that good a batch of Lucky Cookies. I didn't think we were going to get the recipe out of you. We were yeah, going to get it. Yeah, I can't. I just, I just can't do it. Sorry, Jeremy. I tried. Talking with Kevin Van Dam, JD from Texas asked, How hard is it to be on the road without your family, and how often do they go with you? It's extremely difficult because, you know, I have twin boys that are 10 years old right now and, you know, like, it's baseball season at, at home. And, you know, when I talk to them on the phone at night, it's, you can tell, you know, when you're, if I'm gone more than a week, it, uh, it starts to wear on both of us. And, you know, my wife, she's, she's trying to run our business. She's basically a business manager for me, and it, it gets hard, too, you know, when you're, when you're together, even if it's just in the evenings, you you can get a lot of things done and you can talk back and forth. But when you you know you're on the phone and stuff, you don't remember everything. So, again, because my kids are in school, it makes it hard for them to travel during during that time of the year. But I had two two times there where I was you know away from them for more than three weeks at a time, and that's no fun. It's been the longest in their whole life, and uh, had a pretty rough uh, spring starting out. You know, as far as being away from home, so I'm I'm glad to be back. June gets pretty busy again. You know, we've got one more stretch where we've got a trip away from home. But during the summer months, you know, a lot of times my family will go with me. They'll travel with me. And the worst part about the job, without a doubt, is the traveling, you know. I mean, once you're there, it's great. But uh, going and coming is pretty tough. Well, Kevin, I won't take any more time. Congratulations once again. Enjoy your family, and thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. To the Point with Tanya Tyler on Outdoor Trail Magazine.